Hey everyone, welcome to the Team Moffat Journey, episode three. We are super excited to be with you guys today. In fact, today is my birthday. So the proud 23, or should I say 33, excuse me. I guess I'm going back in time, which is really cool. We're here at one of our favorite parks up in the Bay Area by our family's house. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's tune you guys in to what's been going on in our world. It's been a while since we made this video. Um, so babe, why don't you get kicked off with where we are since our last video? Well, we put all of our stuff in storage in Idaho. This guy made a trip with one of our really good friends and they drove a U-Haul. So all of our belongings are hanging out in the storage <coughs> unit in Idaho. And uh, we packed up and moved to the Bay Area for a couple months while our house is being built. Which is super, super exciting. Yeah. And so one of the things that we're, uh, we're excited about is we're getting updates by our neighbors. Our neighbors are the ones that are sending us pictures <laughs> and um, they're keeping us updated on what's going on with our house. It's really cool because we're excited. Yesterday, Friday, we got an opportunity to um, to get some pictures to see our first floor is pretty much framed up. I'm hoping by the end of this week, the second floor is done and they're working towards getting the roof going on. So we're super excited. Let us turn around. These guys are playing some ball. You'll see behind us playing some ball. So anyway, <clears throat> one of the things that we wanted, why we wanted to do, he, do it here was, since our last video, we found out the gender of our baby. So we want to be able to share with you our experience. Yeah, but before we go there, I wanted to share something about um, kind of what's going on with our house and it's really causing us to stay in faith <clears throat> because we want things done faster and quicker and on our time and we're learning that we have to trust in God and the higher power that says hey when it's ready it'll be ready and so we're being tested which is really cool because we get to use our tools <clears throat> and uh, we had saw a video from um, Steve Harvey. Yes, Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. And he talked about staying on Faith Street and how easy it is to go down Doubt It Lane or I'm Not Good Enough Lane or, you know, all these different things. So we've just been really testing our faith and knowing that everything happens in divine timing. Yep. And as we're, uh, as we're doing that, I'm getting the camera adjusted. So uh, <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's walk across. So here's the deal. I, I, I wanted to share, that's a great point you brought up, babe, because our friends Jason and Leslie, they're getting their house built just a mile down from where we're moving. And they were like three weeks behind <laughs> and, you know, behind us going to the design gallery and getting everything rocking. And all of a sudden, we got a picture from them two weeks ago saying that their house, they're already building their second floor. I'm like... <laughs> WTF like we were way ahead of you and now they're in a different community same builders but that's where Christina was right like we were I'm like really wanting things to happen they don't want their house to, to be built as fast because they got some business stuff back at San Diego and we're sitting here like you know we want her to get to our doctors we want whoops let me uh, figure out this camera <laughs> biz <clears throat> We want her to get established with her doctors back in Sandy, or excuse me, Idaho. Jeez, I'm going backwards. And we really want the house to be done and to move in. We're staying with some family. Um, and we just had to learn and we are learning to just let go because it's ironic. They were letting go. They didn't have no attachment. And we were so, we're so attached that it's like we slow down the flow of abundance that comes into us when we're so attached. So I'm learning and practicing, and I always will be practicing living in that detachment, that the law of detachment where you detach from it and allow the abundance to flow to you. And as soon as we did, we got an update, and it was like they're already building your home, framing it up, which was super yeah. exciting. What's even funnier, though, is our <clears throat> they don't even want their house built right away. <laughs> they would prefer that it take as long as possible. So that just tells you, like he said, when you're just holding on to something, when you're so attached to the outcome. Oh, hold on. Guys, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> It'll lose you. All right. Go ahead. 
I just said when you're so attached to the outcome, <clears throat> it really just seems to elude you. Oh, got it. Yeah. So, this is, let me flip this bad boy around so I can show you where, and I don't even know how to flip this around, so I might just need to <laughs> flip around. Um, right here in this exact park, into that tree right there, that's where we did our gender reveal. Yay. So babe, do we want to share with them what happened or do we want them to see the video? Let's let them check out the video right now. All right, check out the video and then we'll be back and you guys can see what took place and whether we're having a little girl or we're having a little boy. Everything for me. I'm so like <laughs> on butterflies. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so. You want to say something? No, I just I do. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I want to say thank you, thank you oh, for yeah, everyone thank coming you. out. We really appreciate it. It wouldn't be a baby gender reveal without people to reveal it too. So <laughs> we're super excited. Who thinks it's going to be a boy? Yeah. About a girl? Yeah. I think boy's the winner, but About we're going to see. Ready? Let's oh back up God. a little. All right, ready? Three, two, one. He's the camera. <laughs> Tears of joy. And it's a boy. <laughs> you did it, babe. You really did it. Good job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Katie, we want to say thank you to Katie for hooking this up. She did awesome. She held a straight face the whole time. I couldn't have done it. So, wow, we're super excited. Well, to everyone who said girl here and online, told you so. <laughs> team off it, baby by design. We went team blue. So you got it in your teeth. The next one will be a girl. Your teeth, seriously, come here. It's all in your mouth. Here, I'm like I can't do that. Oh my god. Awesome. So we not Yay! only have all Baby family girl, here, Yay! but we have everyone online that supports us <laughs> in our journey. And so we just want to say thank you. Hopefully you guys can hear to everyone watching. Thank you so much for being thank part you. of this journey. And it's going to get even better. The future is going to be even better when we get to meet our little man. Where's so. Nardo? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we do have a name. So we talked about it. We didn't want a, a junior, but we wanted it to be little Joey. So we went with Joey, and my middle name is Michael. I didn't want that. So we started looking for names, and we found a middle name that we really like, and it's it's going to be because we conceived in Hawaii. So his middle name is going to be Makai, which means who is of God, and then Joseph is multiplier, so a multiplier of. God, right? Yeah. So, Joseph Mackay Moffat. Oh. Really cool, really excited. Anything else you want to say? No. Sure. <laughs> sure. You got it all in your mouth. This is awesome. I don't even think I remember when we popped it. <laughs> so, super excited. Oh, this awesome. is what we were praying for. Yeah. So, the last thing is just health, right? Yeah. Just yeah. healthy baby yeah. boy. So, oh, we're yeah. excited. Yeah. 50 <laughs> net paper. <laughs> Where's that time we have the kids? So, all right, thank you, everyone. All right, you got to see we're having a little man, little Joseph Mackay yeah. Moffat. Mackay being a Hawaiian name and um, a shorter version of Michael, which means um, he who is of God, and Joseph means multiplier. So multiplier of God is our little man. Yeah. So super excited, oh, you saw Christina. Oh, let's show him the little baby bump. We got the little baby 17 bump. 17 weeks, I don't know if you Whee! guys can see, but it's happening. <laughs> it is happening, and we're going on 18 weeks now. We're super excited, but we're just uh, super pumped to have a little guy. We got so many friends that have kids and just the experiences that we've had, but um, why don't you share with them about you know how why we were so excited for our little man. Yeah, so Joe and I have been speaking boy forever. <clears throat> and I used to not want kids at all, but 
a long time ago there used to be this game called mash <laughs> and you would decide like how many kids you were having if they were boys if they were girls and I was <coughs> like if I ever was gonna have a kid it's got to be boys or a boy at least first um, so we've been speaking it and praying for it and um, <coughs> it happened for us so everyone's like oh it's a girl or you know just have a healthy child and I said you know what yes we're praying for a healthy child yeah. And our the God that we serve is a God of abundance, and so we're like, look, why can't we have the a healthy child and the sex of what we want? And so we just don't buy into the limitations or the limiting beliefs of others, and you know nothing against them. It's just what you stand for and what you believe in makes a difference. It it sends a signal out there to God or the universe, and that's what you bring back. And so we don't buy into what other people have to say. You know, we got a lot of people saying, oh, you know, you got to give, you got to breastfeed or you shouldn't breastfeed or, you know, this is how your kid's going to be in the beginning. And, you know, he's not going to sleep or he's going to be yelling all the time or you got to pick him up when he's crying. Like all these things. And I know we're not parents yet. And we have principles which we operate under. And so we don't buy into whether or not our kid is going to be full of anger because of a sign that he has, right? <laughs> if his moon is in a certain geographical <laughs> location, like that's cool and all, but we don't believe in that. Like we do believe in the signs and all that stuff, but we're not going to buy into people's limiting beliefs. Like I, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm a big fan of... Tell about Joel <clears throat> Remember? Oh, yeah. So Joel had this incredible story. He talked about how in one of his books called It's Your Time. I highly recommend yes, that book. So good. So good. I read one page when I'm down and I'm right back up. <laughs> anyway, in his book, he says like everyone's like, oh, here he goes. Your son's going to be, you know, terrible your kids twos. terrible twos. <laughs> and it's like, OK, he didn't believe that. He no. didn't speak that over his kids. He said my kids aren't going to be on the terrible twos. Yeah, he didn't buy into the story. Right. <clears throat> and so we don't buy into other people's stories like, you know, your kid's born on a certain date, he's going to be this way. And like, no, he's going to be the way we decide because what you, what the energy that you put out around kids is the energy that they're going to adapt to. If life is chaotic in your life, if things are chaotic in your world, guess what? Your child's going to be chaotic. Your dog will be chaotic. Yes. Your cats will be chaotic. Your friends and family around you will be chaotic because you're setting the energy there. Yeah, everything is energy. Everything's vibration. So, you know, if you set the tone like, and you make the decision, you're going to show up patient. You're going to show up in love. You're going to be in this environment where you're going to create an environment by design of you know your kids being well behaved sleeping well i get they're gonna cry and they're yeah. gonna be cranky but it's how you react to that yeah, that amplifies your child's experience yeah. so here's what i know when our kids crying hysterically we're not gonna spaz out we've mastered our emotions for the most part we're human we kind of let it slip here and there too <laughs> But we mess our emotions. So when when the kid's crying hysterically in the supermarket or in his crib or whatnot, we're gonna show up even killed, strong, and we're gonna show up with love. And as a team. <clears throat> and as a team, not you know, daddy does this, mommy does that. Because what we know is from working with so many people, let me make sure I get this as we turn here. <laughs> is that our kids gonna respond and this is where most people most parents they don't understand this and so they just adapt to their kids behavior instead of the kid adopt adapting to the parents behavior yeah. so anyway long crazy rant and uh, anything you want to throw in there before we wrap that up yeah and I guarantee you there's people watching that <clears throat> are like Oh, just wait until you guys have kids. You say this now. I can hear you guys. <laughs> yeah, I hear their thoughts right now. And we can't wait to share <clears throat> the tools that we use with our children going forward in the future. Um, and They're no different than what we already use. Exactly. You know, they're no different. It's just that we implement them when most people sit on their booty and do nothing yeah. with them or even take time to learn them. Yeah. And so it takes <laughs> patience. It's not always easy. I get that, you know, with a crying baby and a lot going on in your world and business and stuff. I get it. But you know what? I'm going to be making a video about watch how, despite what everyone says, how you can build a six and seven figure business while having a brand new child in your life. 
So we're getting a new house, a new child, a new lifestyle, and watch our growth over this next year or two, because I'm promising you this, I don't buy into your limitations or others out there. And we're gonna set the example, so mark my words, it's on video, it's right here, you guys got it. <laughs> Hold my feet to the fire, I need the accountability from you. So we're gonna show you how we can make that happen, and that's a big, big shift, yeah. so. Anyway. How you can live in empowering, positive states of emotions along the way. You don't have to get burnt out and overwhelmed and stressed and depressed. <clears throat> exactly. Look, I love building our business and today's my birthday. We're here, we're making this video for you guys, working on the business and it's just, I, and guess what? After this, guess what I'm gonna do? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. Do we, are we making six figures a month in our business or seven figures in our business yet? No, and that's okay with me. Here's why. Quality time with my girl and my family is more important than building the business. And so my vertical alignment is God family business. And so I put that first. So I don't have, my values are in alignment. I don't have to worry if, oh, do I have to build the business? You know, because we want more and abundant. No, I put this first and I will tell you, I was so overwhelmed today with so many people giving me birthday shout outs. I asked on Facebook, what's one thing if I made an impact in your life that you'd like to share with me and how specifically getting all these great things. One thing I got the best message was this girl said in 2010, you took time to talk to me. And she's like, I was on the verge of killing myself. And because of that, I'm now happily married, healthy kids, another baby on the way. And she's so grateful and I'm grateful for that. Like that was the most incredible birthday gift. And my wifey got me some amazing things. By the way, doesn't she look beautiful oh, and gorgeous? She is because honestly, she knows that I like her hair up like that. So anyway, but she got me some gifts. She got me uh, a little Batman onesie for <laughs> our little man. We're so all gonna wear that. She wants to be like daddy. Hey mommy, mommy, mommy has one yes. too. And uh, she got me some other things and amazing cards. I just, I'm a sucker for the sentimental stuff, so. I have what something else? else to share. <clears throat> um, a lot of people in our industry, business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, these types of people, a lot of people are so focused on finances and money <coughs> and getting to that next level. And one thing that I want to remind you of is there's things in life that money cannot buy. <clears throat> And so, so while Joe and I are very committed to building a seven figure brand, it's happening. We have trust and faith and there's other things that come before that, like our health. Our health is dialed in most than, uh, more than most people. Our relationship is on fire with passion and love and these and are just, speed bumps. Don't forget speed, speed bumps. bumps. We have too. speed yes, bumps we have too. Speed bumps, but we can <clears throat> use the tools that we know. Um, but just also remember the things in life that money can't buy and really evaluate the order and hierarchy of your values and what's most important to you. The money will come, the money will go. Family, people, your health, it's there forever. We stress about money. We have speed bumps in our relationship and we're human too. We want you to know that if you experience it, so do we, especially if you're a business owner or someone looking to get free, like it, it takes time. It takes time. Don't be so attached like we are to our house being built, right? And as we start to let go, bam, next morning, mainly me, not her. <laughs> But the next morning, I'm getting pictures by our neighbors saying, look, the first floor, first two walls are up. We're like, yeah. So detach, no. Look, I've been really working on enjoying the journey along the way. Like, I, I want our house built. It's supposed to be done sometime in April. <clears throat> and it's the beginning of, it's January 6th. And I don't want to wish away my whole life. I don't want to wish away the next four months with her. You know, I think about it like the more I was so filled with gratitude, I still am. Not because it's my birthday, but because I constantly am focused on what am I grateful for every day. I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful for her health. I'm grateful for how she treats the baby and how she takes care of her health and the baby. And so that's what I'm focused on. And so I just, every day that I step into gratitude, I'm so appreciative. Yeah. Anything else? Um, I'm attached to how this video looks. I'm peeved that there's gonna be so many 
shadows and different lightings and walking and things like that but I just have to remind myself like hey we're doing it we're taking action it doesn't have to be perfect that's what I'm learning this year is like things don't have to be perfect you just have to take action to move forward so that's a lesson for me oh that's good you know we came to make a video the other day and there was kids yelling in the park I'm sure you can hear them now and we're like, oh, this isn't professional, and you know. I like... spazzed out on my own video. <laughs> I started crying, didn't record one. <laughs> <laughs> so true. But that's what I love about her, because she's here still. She gets back up, even when she doesn't feel like it. She gets back up. That's what I love about her. Yeah. So, I love that about you. Thank you. So anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not here to be perfect. We want you to know that, you know what, even though we are on camera and you're watching us from a distance, you know, we have struggles. We live the same life you do. We put our pants and clothes on the same way you do. And we're not perfect. We're just here. We want to inspire you. We want to change the world. We want to help make an impact for you. And so with that, I just want to say if these videos help or if they're making an impact, please click the like button below. Hit yeah. subscribe. Share it with a friend. If you know someone that is in a relationship that kind of bickers back and forth or they're a little challenging with each other, um, share this video so that they have an opportunity to see, look, there's this couple out there, Team Moffitt, and the little one on the way, number three, and they're not, they're real, they're not, they're not some people who just hide behind a camera and show their perfect world and their perfect life. We have speed bumps, I, we shared with you how we're so attached to the house and things weren't going well. We talked about how she just had a meltdown, you know, in the video last week, and you know, but again, these are the things that happen in life. It's not what happens in that moment, it's how you react in that moment. Mm -hmm. And so she got back up. She's here doing this video. You know, we let go. Our house is being built. Now, yes, I get there's a shit storm in everything in life and it comes at you. We're all gonna have challenges. But again, it goes back to how are you gonna show up when they arrive? Are you gonna show up in your power? Like you're, you step into this king within you? this queen within you? Or are you going to show up as a victim? The victim meaning you have no power to change, which I think my hallucination is, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. You have the power to change. It's your choice not to change if you keep doing it long term. So with that, please click the subscribe button. Uh, write us below. Yeah, what do you- leave us some comments. <clears throat> Let us know what you think about our baby reveal or any um, just comments that you guys might have on the video, any questions that you guys might have that you want answered um, around learning how to handle your emotional state or how to get through some of the challenges that you might be facing. <coughs> awesome. Well, look, if you took the time to watch us to the very end, we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. We love you. And yes, you might not comment, you might not like or subscribe, and we, that's okay, we get it. But you just taking the time and you know who you are, we just hope that God blesses you for taking the time out of your day to multiply certain areas of your life that you want. And here's what I know, he can't bless a parked car. You gotta be moving. So go out there, take, t take action. Make today count. You only get one shot at life. So we love you. Thank you for tuning in on our episode number three with Team Moffitt. You can check it out one last time. Baby bump. It's going to get bigger, so you're going to see it on the journey. We're super excited. Go out there, make today count. Joe and Christina Moffitt, a.k.a. Team Moffitt with Joseph Mackay Moffitt. We love you guys. We love you guys. Have a good one. See ya.